We're gonna sit on that because sometimes I have updated my Mac and literally can't um, can't edit certain things in Final Cut for several months. <laughs> I got which really you, which screwed you need up. To. Which, which you I need to. need to. I definitely had a very terrible Baja season because I had to edit things. I had to pre-render everything because it screwed up ex imports for eight months after the update. Uh, things like that. I would hope mm -hmm. something like that wouldn't happen again. And I'm listening to my production things to see if they're getting that mm -hmm. stuff happening before I get to it. So usually around Christmas, I'll probably upgrade though. So because I'm going to want features that they're doing that talk to my phone that I'm going to run into roadblocks, right? Basically, it's when mm -hmm. that gets annoying <laughs> enough, I will do it on one computer that I don't do most of my editing on and move on from there, right? So Either way, uh, so so we have that, uh, Dave. I, I presume you've you've updated your devices of, of some sort. Uh, my watch and my main phone. I did have the beta on on an old uh, uh, thirteen Pro Max. You know, played with that a little bit, and, and and amazingly, it didn't seem to slow down much for being an older phone. Um, oh, yeah. Not that's seeing always that. a concern. That's a major concern. Not seeing that now. Um, right. So, um, how are you liking the liquid glass? Honestly, I know people, I've seen people complain about it and say, blah, blah, blah. I like it. I don't see anything wrong with it. it it's, it, you know, um, so it runs smooth for me. It runs like it's supposed to. So I really don't have any problems with it. Um, it, it does take some getting used to because it is, it does look different, mm -hmm. but you Definitely know, very glassy. I, the, yeah, the, the opaqueness works fine. 